Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. What if I told you, arguably, that I may have uncovered the number one risk reward protocol out there, period, that everyone should be stacking? And we're talking about 1100X. Now, it even gets better. What if I told you? It has some of the best developers, or some really good developers, a lot of money, and it has real world utility. Well, I tell you what, you would probably be as excited as I am. I almost fell out of the chair when I looked at the chart, and I am excited to bring this project to you. And quite frankly, guys, I just did. A Hedera video, and you should check it out. It's in the description. It's one of my favorite projects, and I'm stacking. And I thought that was a tremendous opportunity. And the reason I'm creating this video was I was talking about carbon offsets in my Hedera video, and I knew about Kalima Dow because I had it in the back of my mind. Uh, Mark Cuban talked about it in a video like three or four months ago, and he said it's a really good early project that he invested in that hasn't done well of late, but he said it's a really easy project to use because, you know, when you, uh, with the ESG regulations and everything around the world, when you create anything uh, that is not carbon neutral, you pretty much are going to have to offset it uh, with carbon offsets. And that's going to, it's very difficult to prove and to track. Uh, it's not an easy uh, process, according to Mark. And this is one of the best projects that make it very simple and you can easily document it. Document it. So that's why I, I wanted to look at it. Uh, and it just wasn't a project that has been on the top of my mind. But when I made the Hedera video, it was about carbon offsets. So I kind of tied them in together. I went down the rabbit hole. This is a phenomenal project. And guys, I'm telling you, you're going to be excited when we take a look at the chart. But before we do, I just want to show you a little bit of a video that make you understand exactly what they did. Our world is at a crossroads. Greenhouse gases are at their highest levels in history, and new technologies are part of the problem. With climate change at the point of no return, the need to act has never been more critical. But direct means to fight climate change have never been available to the average person until now. Introducing Klimadow, the world's first liquid blockchain-based carbon market aimed at neutralizing the carbon emissions that cause climate change. Utilizing real-world carbon credits brought on-chain, Klimadow empowers anyone to engage in the fight for Mother Earth. Using Web3 technology, Klimadow amplifies the actions and talents of over 90,000 users from 65 countries. To date, Klimadow has introduced innovations such as carbon-staked NFTs, creating a B2B program for companies to neutralize their carbon Hopefully you kind of understand what it is. Guys, basically, in a nutshell, to make it really simple, is, you know, if you create, say, a tennis shoe and it needs to uh, be have dye, well, dye is toxic. That shoe is toxic. It doesn't meet ESG regulations or other regulations around the world. Well, to offset that, you buy uh, a token such as this and you get the carbon offset credit. Uh, I think there's some tax implications uh, if you do or if you don't, uh, which is why they need to use it. Uh, so it has real world utility. Now, when we look at the chart, guys, it's going to look like a rug pull. But here's the thing. It had a lot of money behind it with some great developers because it's such a good project. And it looks like a rug pull. Now, quite frankly, I knew it would be down, but I didn't realize it would be flatlined. 
But now bear with me because I'm going to show you, in my opinion, and none of this is financial advice, do your own research. But here's why I believe it's legit and it's not a rug pull and it is something we should all start stacking. The reason you had this huge pump right here, in my opinion, is because you had so much VC money, guys. That is massive, right? But if you also look at, it came out at the absolute best time, right? November of last year. So you think about it, the the people that got in early, the Mark Cubans of the world uh, that didn't sell it or, or sold it, I mean, literally, that was a 1,000x token all day long or more, way more, uh, because they probably got in under a penny. Uh, but now look. You know, that ties us into the first of the year. All those VCs, not all, but a lot of them obviously took a lot of profits. Look at this volume. That's massive volume, guys. And as you know, the first of the year, we all started tumbling, and it just hasn't done anything. But you think about it, guys. Major corporations are not making big moves right now. We are in a recession. They're trying to juggle and uh, just, you know, stack their books so that their numbers don't look too bad, so their stocks don't drop too much. But now, look, I don't know if you guys understand how commits work, but commits is what you really want to look at if a blockchain is actually doing anything. You know, especially a lot of these uh, scam tokens, when you look on my list, a lot of people don't understand why I call, like, bigger a scam token. I don't like bigger, and I'll tell you why. They make a lot of claims, and they compare themselves to Solana, and they charge a fee. I'm not going to get into that, but here's the thing. When you check their commits, I found three. Well, commits is basically saying, you know, we created a blockchain. It has to be maintained. We're always making changes. It's a constant thing, guys. You know, Solana probably has 2,000 commits going on. Cardano which is very legit, not to get off subject, it's amazing how many commits they have. A commit is basically like, look, we're going to do this, then we're going to do that, then we're going to do this, then we're going to do that. It's just a, a commitment of what you're going to do to keep growing your blockchain and make it better and better. Well, when you scroll down here, look at these commits, guys. Now, remember, we're in a recession, and this thing has flatlined. Now, a lot of, I would say nine out of 10 tokens, when you look at their commits, guys, look at that. That's a full board. That means they're working all the time, constantly. It's not blank. They're not giving up. They're moving forward. Most of these, when you see something like that, the developers jump ship and there's not even a dot there. There may be two, or it might be like, uh, bigger where literally there's three dots but now check this out if it doesn't get better than this or, or even better check this out in this uh this reply right here it said basically that they are excited that's not the one i was wanting to find they're excited that they were mentioned in the white house paper that just got released uh about regulation and what we should do about uh, blockchain and the environment and ESG and Bitcoin and all that stuff. They mentioned uh, Kalima Dow. Guys, this project, I'm telling you, you do the math, it's 1100X. That is massive. And that's not an IPO or ICO or IDO or anything like that. This is a flat out, you know, uh, blockchain that we can buy today. Now, that being said, not financial advice, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start stacking this thing during this recession. And I truly believe when we come out that this thing's going to pump. And not only that, guys, imagine what's going to happen when we get regulation clarity. I don't know what that's going to look like, whether uh, everything's going to be considered uh, a security or a commodity 
or what that is. But one thing I do know 100% is ESG is here to stay and anything to do with uh, the carbon offsets uh, or anything like that is going to be a huge, huge project. And this is really early because we don't have regulation. Most of the people that are following ESG regulation, because it's technically not a regulation, and I'll just give you a brief uh, overview of what it is. And I'm not a fan, guys. I'm really not. But long story short, BlackRock started that. And what they did was they basically said, look, if anyone down the line's not playing playing ball with uh, us, which meaning um, BlackRock, and they got a big, he, he went and got all his corporate America buddies and named a bunch of, uh, you know, corporations who have trillions of dollars. If anyone in this pipeline is not playing uh, by the rules we set, then we're just going to pull our funds out. So it doesn't sound like they can, could really control it, but I want you to think about it, guys. Even a small little uh, store, say a hardware store in a small town USA, well, they get their nails, their hammers, you know, their products from someone. Well, if you link those products to the major corporations, you know, they buy them from them. Well, they're probably getting money from BlackRock or one of BlackRock's partners. And if that little guy in that little town doesn't want to play ball, well, cut his supply off. It's brutal, and I don't like it, but that's the future, guys. I truly believe this token is the token. I'm telling you, you can tell but I'm excited. Now, I'm not going to stack a ton of money in it, uh, probably more than you think, uh, because I really believe it's legit. It's real world. I know Mark Cuban didn't sell the pump, or at least what he said. There's some big boys in this because they see the future. This is one I'm gonna I'm gonna hold and I'm gonna stack in this recession. And really, when re regulation hits, this thing's gonna take off. I truly believe it. Anyway, not financial advice. What do you think, guys? And do you remotely, I mean remotely, have a token that has real world utility that can be better? than a 1100x that's just to get to its old high what if it busts through it i'm excited guys anyway happy to share this with you if you like it guys be part of this community we want you to subscribe mash the notification so you don't miss anything let me know what you think in the comment section and no matter what guys come back and hit that like button it helps us out a lot and we do appreciate it take care